all the other dealers complaining. But we're not. We're dealing. Bring us your deal because we're doing things the other guys just won't. We're making it happen at the powerhouse. Jim Butler Chevrolet in the Gravoy Bluffs at 141 in Gravoy. Introducing BP Gasoline with Invigory. They have a unique formula that helps cars run younger for longer. New BP Gasoline with Invigorate. All grades of new BP Gasoline now have Invigorate. When used continuously, it can help clean and protect engines against harmful deposits, sludge, and corrosion. To help your car run younger for longer, try new BP Gasoline with Invigorate. Record your message after the tone. Hey, where are you guys? You're never not at home. Wait, are you screening me? Hello? Hey, it's me. Just calling to say hello. So, uh, hello. Come on, pick up. I know you're just watching TV. Gaming, dining, nightlife, Lumiere Place, casino and hotels. Whatever turns you on. It's the latest in communication, entertainment, and exhilaration. The 300 horsepower Acura MDX. It's next generation luxury. Acura, advance. Take advantage of attractive financing on select Acura models for well-qualified customers. You paid for it. Millions more sunk into the $300 million Mid-America Airport. But does it add up? Right now you're losing a million dollars a year. Tonight at 9. You're watching St. Louis's Newsroom. This is coverage you can count on. The deal is done. Anheuser-Busch agrees to sell to InBev. Shareholders are going to love this deal. But for people here who work at the plant in St. Louis, well, that could be a different situation. She's probably started some kind of fitness program up in heaven. Fond memories of Cindy Grossi, how former colleagues are remembering the Brentwood teacher killed by a suspected drunk driver in Philadelphia. Plus a vigil for Heather Kalorn, nine years since this young babysitter went missing. How old she'd be today. Good morning once again, everybody. Welcome into Monday, July 14th. It's going to check in with Glenn. Yesterday, gorgeous. We'll take another one. We'll take one more. Sure. How about all week? How about all week? Whatever you want to give us. I mean, it looks great. <laughs> Amazing that we're looking long range here, not seeing much, if any, rain around the metro area. Our temperatures will eventually warm back into the 90s, but it is a pretty quiet start. Good view this morning outside, clear skies, and the sun's going to be coming up here in the next couple of minutes as well. Not a good day for a wrong turn. And apparently that has happened on our roof cam this morning. We have a little truck that's mm -hmm. taken a little bit of a wrong turn here. <laughs> uh -oh. And there's some traffic light apparatus that are on the street. Yikes. That's that's Hampton right at Highway 40. I don't know what exactly happened here, but the truck went over the traffic signal. So we'll continue to monitor that and, of course, the weather and tell mm -hmm. you all that's going on with the atmosphere in a couple of minutes. All right, Glenn. A lot of nervous people in St. Louis today as the deal between Anheuser-Busch and InBev, almost a done deal. The AV Board of Directors has agreed to sell out to the Belgium-based company in a $52 billion deal, which was announced overnight. Fox News John Brown live in South St. Louis outside the brewery with details on all this. Good morning, John. Well, good morning, guys. That $70 a share proved to be the key to getting both sides to talk talking once again, and it also proved to be the key into getting Anheuser-Busch to agree to sell out. A new name, Anheuser-Busch InBev, and the ABIB will be headquartered. The North American headquarters will be right here in St. Louis, so that's good news for some people in the St. Louis area. The deal became friendly once again on Friday after that price per share offer was floated. That brought August Bush IV, the current CEO of AB, to New York to negotiate. Then on Sunday, the board of AB flew to St. Louis for an emergency board meeting at the Chesterfield Airport. Unanimous support from the AB board for the buyout means that all that's left is for approval by the feds and shareholders. We we'll continue to be very committed to St. Louis, to the roots of AB as a company and as a brand, Budweiser. Uh, we're not going to close any of the breweries in the U.S. The 12 breweries will remain open. The headquarters for the North American operation will continue to be in St. Louis. Now with uh, an enlarged role, which is the role of getting Budweiser to all different countries in the world. So that's uh, commitments are the same. 
Again, that is current CEO of InBev, Carlos Brito. He talked about the good points, the North American headquarters being based here, the name change, of course, and the global headquarters for Budweiser. One thing they aren't mentioning right now is those non-core assets like the theme parks, which will have to be sold off, and job cuts, which could be announced later on this year. Reporting live in South St. Louis, I'm John Brown, Fox 2 News. More overseas business dealings. The European company fighting Boeing for a major Air Force contract is determined to win back the $35 billion deal. Forbes.com reports EADS and its partner Northrop Grumman claims it has the best product. The bidding process was reopened after Boeing complained about it going to a foreign company. The Government Accountability Office found significant problems with the way the contract was awarded. And Missouri has lost a nine-month push to lure a Canadian aircraft company to Kansas City. Bombardier says it will build its new series of aircraft in a suburb of Montreal. Kansas City was the only other competitor for the $375 million plant. Police in Wright City are looking for a gunman who shot two people yesterday afternoon. The Missouri Highway Patrol tells Fox 2 a man was shot several times on Elm Avenue. He was airlifted to Barnes Jewish Hospital and a woman was shot once. She was taken to another hospital. No word on their conditions this morning. Cardinal Nation is mourning the death of Dave Ricketts, a longtime catcher and coach. He died after a long battle with cancer. He was a member of the Cardinals 1967 World Series championship team. Dave Ricketts died just one day after his 73rd birthday. An emotional tribute to the Cardinals fan hit and killed by a suspected drunk driver in Philadelphia. Fox 2 Summer Knowles has more on how the Brentwood teacher is being remembered. It is with a sad heart that I report the loss of one of our Brentwood school family members. An emotional announcement Sunday by Brentwood Superintendent Charles Penberthy. 53-year-old former PE teacher Cindy Grassy died late Saturday night. Her friend and former colleague who was also hit, 36-year-old Sandra Wacker, is still in critical condition. But I think it's a great opportunity for all of us to get together as a Brentwood community and begin the healing process. Hundreds of parents and students held a prayer vigil in support of Wacker and in memory of Grass. She's probably started some kind of fitness program up in heaven <laughs> and is getting everyone organized at this time. I'm just out here to support the school. My daughter goes here. She's in the kindergarten. She'll be in first grade next year. And we got the call this morning, so we just decided to come on out. Cindy was no bigger than a minute. Mm. She um, was 5'2", 95 pounds and she jogged 20 miles a week. Second grade teacher Jill Drazda says reports that a drunk driver was responsible for her friend's death only makes the loss worse. It's surreal to us. She's not here and we still, her voice and her huge smile on this tiny little face resonate. We hear her voice, you know, um, it, but th this is what's hard for us is we don't understand. But what students and parents want Grassy's family to understand is how much she'll be missed. I hope it'll bring comfort to them knowing so many people cared about her. Summer Knowles, Fox 2 News. An 18-year-old has been charged with driving under the influence and is now expected to face additional charges. Police say he confessed to smoking marijuana and drinking alcohol before getting behind the wheel. His first court date is set for Thursday. A benefit held last night in memory of two Collinsville sisters who were killed in a freeway wreck involving an Illinois state trooper. 18-year-old Jessica and 13-year-old Kelly Ewell died in the crash on I-64 last November. Authorities say a patrol car driven by Trooper Matt Mitchell was going 126 miles an hour when it went out of control, crossed the median, and slammed into the girl's oncoming car. Proceeds from last night's fundraiser will benefit a scholarship fund at SIU Edwardsville and a Collinsville cheerleading group. Family and friends are not giving up on finding a girl who's been missing for nine years. Heather Kalorn was 12 years old when she disappeared in Richmond Heights. The vigil was held at Mitchell and Yale, where Heather was last seen babysitting at a friend's apartment. Heather's mother passed out flyers yesterday showing what she might look like today at age 21 in hopes of renewing interest in the case. We're off to a great start this morning. Morning temperatures in the 60s. Couple of spots. We're starting off in the upper 50s. Amazing to be talking about that kind of cool and dry air. And once again today, blue sky, sunshine, low humidity. 
It's another great day in St. Louis. We are definitely off to a good start weather wise. Not a good start for these fine gentlemen who continue to move the traffic light that they knocked over on Hampton there as they cheated the turn as they're moving on a Clayton Road there uh, by the Yemos outside of our back door. Yeah, so that's Hampton Road and it is blocked at this point. We we'll have to see how that's going to affect traffic, but these guys are the ones that did it. <laughs> We're pointing them out. It's this one, it's this one, it's that guy there, and there's another guy in the truck there that's waiting for him to, to help move stuff out of the way. Anyway, that's not a good start on a Monday morning, is it? 67 degrees right now with low humidity around the area. I mean, look at these temperatures. 59 in Mount Vernon, 58 in Springfield, 60 degrees in Rolla, 61 in Spring in uh, Quincy, 64 in Columbia. So again, all great temps. Amazing. Talk of middle of July weather and this low humidity and this cool air is in place. It's not just here. Really, most of the Midwest, this high pressure has dropped in. It's sitting right on the St. Louis area, so that should keep us clear. Our winds should be light through the day today. Future cast keeping us all quiet. Maybe a couple of high clouds this afternoon and an overnight tonight, but that would be about it. Good looking day. Look at the highs mid to upper 80s again with low humidity. Same sort of feel as yesterday. 80 at lunchtime. Plenty of sun and blue sky are high into the upper 80s, about 89. Winds will stay light and overnight tonight. Another quiet night with a low of 68 degrees. We should stay clear. Rest of this week looks amazing too. More dry air on the way. We'll share that week's worth of forecast in a couple of minutes. All right, thank you, Glenn. The Cardinals heading into the All-Star break on a positive note. Wrap-up of that series in Pittsburgh and where the Cardinals stand at the midway point of the season. Lost? Not at all. Very much alive. And I am here to reclaim what is rightfully mine. Another sequel scaring up big bucks at the box office, plus the new movie that laid a big egg. That's ahead on Fox 2 News at 5.30. 5.41 right now, we're at 67 degrees. Now at your world-class GMC dealers, get the selection and the fuel economy you need. Like the GMC Acadia with better highway fuel economy than the Toyota 4Runner. Yukon with better highway fuel economy than Toyota Sequoia. And the 2008 Sierra with the best available V8 fuel economy of any full-size pickup. Now get zero APR for 72 months on 2008 Yukon and Sierra 1500 extended and crew cabs. Six years interest-free financing. It's all here, but only for a limited time at your world-class GMC dealers. Did you know that with one hour of training, you can jump out of a plane? With one week of training, you can do it alone. With four weeks, you can fly the plane you jumped out of. But it takes eight weeks of training to become a customer service associate at US Cellular. Maybe that's why we have the most loyal customers in the industry. Till people give you their order, I can't cook their order to order. Right. People order, then I order you to cook the order to order. In that order. Exactly. The steak and shake Frisco melt. Temporarily? Just $3.99. Steak and shake. I'm here at AmeriCash Loans, where checkbook loans still have a giant lead over payday loans. Excuse me, how did this happen? Needed cash, got big check, long payment terms, and no balloon payments. And that's why AmeriCash Loans still leads in the fast cash solutions game. How are those payday loans coming? Only one. <laughs> okay, call 877-304-CASH to find a location nearest you, or visit AmeriCashLoans.net. Oh, that's the torque. I like torque. Andy, it's great gas mileage. Woo! Okay. How fast is this? Hey, Phil. When is this event going to be over? Soon. Thanks, Phil.
Oh boy, this event is going to be trouble. The Autobahn for All Summer event. Get 0% APR on all 08 models. It's what the people want. At Rottler Pest and Lawn Solutions, we know St. Louis better than anyone else because we've served St. Louis for over 50 years. Hi, I'm Mike Rottler. It's ant season, St. Louis, so give us a yell. 24-7. Click on the news tab to get the latest details and information only on MikeFoxSTL.com. Welcome back at 544, 67 degrees. A demon knocks a superhero off the top perch at the box office. Yep, it's another sequel doing better than the original. I have returned to wage war and reclaim our land. My forces beyond our understanding. Hellboy 2, the Golden Army, earned $35.9 million at the box office over the weekend. Sony released the first Hellboy in 2004, but passed on the sequel, so Universal stepped in, and it was a great payoff for Universal Studios. Last weekend's number one, Hancock, was second place with $33 million. And Eddie Murphy's new movie, Meet Dave, flopped with just 5.3 million for seventh place honors. And it's no surprise because that is one of the worst movies I've ever seen, ever. Wow. That's tough. Eddie Kevin. Murphy's worst movie Goodness. ever. Goodness. Ever. All right. Yeah. Yikes. All right. For the second year in a row, Miss USA slipped and fell during the evening gown competition at the Miss Universe okay. pageant. Take a look. Take a <laughs> But she's up and carried on, didn't she? <laughs> Miss USA Crystal Stewart of Texas regained her composure. She carried on, but the winner of this year's pageant was 22-year-old Diana Mendoza of Venezuela. She was once kidnapped in her homeland and says the ordeal taught her to remain poised under pressure. Robbie. So there you go. <laughs> Missouri's own Brad Pitt is a proud papa this morning. Angelina Jolie gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl, Saturday night in France. The newborns, Knox Leon and Vivian Marcheline, born one minute apart, both babies weighing in at about five pounds. The mayor of Nice showed off the official birth certificate. Rights to the pictures of the celebrity twins could sell for up to $20 million. Wow. But you know what? They're... I read somewhere that they're doing it right. They're not going to take the money. They're going to oh, give sure it. I'm sure to go to charity. They're very charitable. They're going to give yeah. it to one of their charities. And so, you know, why not? If everybody's clamoring for the pictures, sell them, put the money to a good use. Mm -hmm. I'm all for it. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. So the names, Knox <laughs> and Vivian. Vivian. Yeah. All right. Those Hollywood types never have normal names. Yeah, what's up with that? I mean, you never hear Glenn. No, that would be too <laughs> normal for yes. Hollywood, you know. Yes, you need like Apple or, you know, right. mm, yeah. something like something that. Something goofy. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, there's another one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who was that one? <laughs> that was Nicole Kidman. Oh, that's right. Yes. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Is that like named after, an, Urban. named after an ice cream Sunday or just the day? The day Sunday, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like a Sunday rose, I guess. I don't, I don't know. That's Hollywood great. types. That's great. <laughs> Glenn. Mm -hmm. Just plain old Glenn. Yeah. All right. Weather well, today is off to a great start. Again, low humidity, plenty of sunshine coming up now. We've got a clear sky across most of the area, too. That low humidity, really the key to another great day. And that means a comfortable atmosphere. Our highs today eventually into the upper 80s. We keep monitoring the scene out here at Hampton and Highway 40. There's a truck that has made a wrong turn somehow. <laughs> and he's knocked over the traffic lights. Now, now we're kind of laughing a little bit, but this is going to block a lot of traffic there at Hampton and 40. So we're keeping an eye on that. They haven't moved it much, so I'm sure there's going to be some traffic backups. We'll uh, check in with Monica here in just a bit, see how, how this is going to be a big problem, I think. 67 degrees right now, humidity 73%, dew point of 58, that's low. West to southwest breeze at 5. Check out the rest of the temps. Again, a couple of spots, upper 50s like Litchfield at 59, 59 Mount Vernon, 57 right now in Farmington, and low 60s around the rest of the area. But again, it's amazing to see this type of air, cool and dry air in place this time of the year. It's all this big area of high pressure that's sitting over us. It sits over us again tomorrow. No active weather in the mix for us, so we've got another great day tomorrow, too. Eventually a little warmer back to the 90s for the rest of the week. Today, plenty of sunshine. Our highs 89. Winds are light and overnight tonight. Clear skies with a low of 68 degrees. Tomorrow, 92. And we're getting warm. Mid-90s Wednesday and Thursday before some clouds move back into the area Friday and Saturday. But well, we are definitely rain-free right into next week. Week and a great week ahead. MyFoxSTL.com. Click on the weather tab and bookmark that weather buffet.
Now here's Monica, and then we've got a problem on Hampton. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that and let you know, obviously, if that creates a backup. Other than that, we talked about debris. A lot of it's been cleared throughout the area. That's good news. We do, however, start in one particular area where we have milk that leaked from a truck. So 70 westbound at Florissant Road. We'll keep an eye on that, let you know if that creates any problems. Besides that, we'll switch things for you to 270 westbound. A little pocket of traffic already forming from the canal bridge to the Illinois side of the chain of rocks. And then we go to South County and take a look for you with our cameras. First of all, northbound 270 from 55 on the roll through that point, 44 and Doherty Ferry. And we'll wrap up with 70 drivers right near the Blanchette Bridge. A little light volume, but you're still moving at the speed limit. The Cardinals go into the All-Star break 10 games above 500, but still four and a half games behind the Cubs in the NL Central. Last year at this time, the Cardinals were five games below 500 and seven and a half games back. Cardinals wrapping up that weekend series in Pittsburgh yesterday, tied at six. Chris Duncan coming through with the go-ahead RBI single, one of three hits on the day for him. But it was the little guy, Aaron Miles, having a huge day. Five RBIs, including a home run, a single, and a two-run triple. All-star Ryan Ludwig contributed a solo homer as well. The Cardinals blasting the Pirates 11-6. Good day up in Pittsburgh. All-star game tomorrow night right here on Fox. Right here, 7 o'clock. Well, the pain at the pump getting worse. The national average up a penny and a half to 4.11 a gallon. The prices in the St. Louis Metro gas tracker and the cutbacks drivers are making during the summer vacation season. 5.50 on the clock right now. 67 degrees on a Monday morning. Rise and shine. In the grip of aches and arthritis pain, break it with new Aspercream Heat Gel. Powerful medicine delivers fast relief without odor. Aspercream, break the grip of pain. Today, I'm going to be in a car accident. My accident will be the reason everyone's late to work. In 20 minutes, I will be in a three-car collision. Right at the end of the street, I will get hit by someone who runs the light. Come on, kids. Engineering safety into every car we build. Enjoy our best financing offers of the year at your local Audi dealer now through July 31st. Some candidates for governor got their training in the politics of Jefferson City. I got my training in a different place. In courtrooms, just like this, all across Missouri, prosecuting the worst criminals. I learned here that leadership requires unshakable moral clarity. I'm Kenny Holsoff. As governor, I can't promise you I'll be perfect, but I know there's a bright line between right and wrong, and I'll never be afraid to stand up and say so. Hi, I'm Jan Demas. If you're looking for a fine new home in the St. Louis area, make sure you join me every Sunday morning at 10, right here on Fox 2, for fine new homes. This banana split blast is really good. Yeah, and it's a good thing because you are driving me... Cup? No, that's not a real saying. Okay, okay. What, what's uh, the thing that makes up the blast? What's in the blast? Um, the strawberries, cherries. No, you're not driving me cherries. You're not driving me strawberries. You're driving me... To the movies! <laughs> banana Split Blast. New at Sonic. All the deliciousness of a classic banana split blended together so you can enjoy it on the go. Grab one tonight because Sonic's open till midnight or later and is even sweeter after dark. Want out of your gas guzzler? Want to lower your payments? Want to fix your upside down? Want a new fuel-efficient Chevy? Come to Jim Butler, the Chevy powerhouse. Hi, my name is Gloria Muhammad Harden, and this is my neighborhood. What I like about Hyde Park is the new life and the renovations going on. I like to work in our community garden. What I like about Fox 2 News is April Simpson. She brings style and integrity. Fox 2 News covers my neighborhood. On the next morning show, a warning to parents. Skin cancer is on the rise, and children are the latest victims. Ways to protect your kids. Today at 9 a.m. on Fox 2. Time check 553. The pain at the pump up slightly in the U.S. and in the St. Louis metro. Our Fox 2 gas tracker shows the average price for a gallon of unleaded is $4 in St. Louis for $16 in Illinois. So what can be done about it? Fox 2's Teresa Woodard talks with drivers who are cutting back, plus one congressman's take on the problem. This is ridiculous. Going 
going from E to F and spending a G? It doesn't really cost a grand to fill up a tank, but these days 30 or 40 bucks is low. $78.52 is not that high. Just a little bit here and a little bit there. That's how I do it. Ease the pain a little. Yes, <laughs> and not 60 at one time. From the single mom from St. Louis. It is a struggle, and sometimes when I go through those struggles, I just catch the metro. To the K house from Kansas City. We have a great van at home, and we're taking this little tiny car on vacation because we don't want to, it would have cost us $200 more to take the van. To the Hortons from Kansas State. This is about 20 cents higher than it is in Olathe, Kansas, is where, from where we're from right now. Filling up means cutting back. They're convinced someone's getting rich. You wonder where is the money going for the gasoline? I don't know. It's, it's a big conspiracy in my opinion. They want Washington to do something. Tell them to fix it now. There is a political element to this. Uh, no question. Democratic Congressman but, Russ Carnahan uh, yeah. blames Republicans for an energy policy he says makes us too dependent on foreign oil. But it's taken both parties to pass bills that crack down on price gouging and force oil companies to produce more gas from land they already own. It has to be part of a comprehensive strategy. I don't think there's any silver bullet here. He says uh, more has to be done. Drivers say, then do it. Fix it. Teresa Woodard, Fox 2 News. Well, we, of course, want to take care of you and let you know where the cheapest is. We're hearing like 388 at Manchester and Barry at there at the 7-Eleven. So you might want to take advantage of that. If you're in the area, go ahead and fill up before it goes up to $4 a gallon. As you head out this morning, it still is pretty light. We got through the first hour and had a couple of issues with some debris in the road. 70 westbound drivers, you still are dealing with some milk, evidently, that leaked from a truck. So they're working with that 70 westbound at Flores. And I did put those travel times up, though. And as you can see, we're pretty much moving at the speed limit. It. We'll switch things where they just cleared a stalled vehicle that was at 44 and grand. That's now gone. And we'll go to our cameras and take a look for you. It's still very light. That's eastbound 70 and coming around the ramp heading towards St. Charles Rock Road. You're fine. We'll flip things for you and take a look at 40 drivers at Mason, east and west, all moving at the speed limit. MyFoxSTL.com is where you go to check out your commute and the gas tracker. Just click on the traffic tab. All right, as they head out, they might have to fill up, but you'll be happy with the weather, right, Glenn? It's great outside. Yeah, temps are in the 60s this morning, even a couple of spots away from downtown in the upper 50s. Amazing for this time of the year. 67 degrees, low humidity through the day today, and that high of 89 is going to feel pretty good. A lot like yesterday with blue sky and sunshine. 64 Columbia, 60 in Rolla. Look at Mount Vernon at 59 and Springfield, Illinois at 58 degrees. So great, amazing temperatures. And we are clear too. Sun's coming up. So we've got a nice blue sky, sunny day for a Monday. All right, Glenn. The brewery ping pong game now over with AB shaking hands with InBev. The changes merger will bring to St. Louis. Plus, roll down windows versus AC, the speeds you should drive if you want to save fuel and keep cool. And not too many are laughing at a comic drawing of Illinois Senator Barack Obama and his wife. We're going to have a look at the controversial cover of the New Yorker magazine. That's ahead on Fox 2 News at 6. Beautiful sunrise for you this morning at 557. We're at 67 degrees. I'm an eye doctor and a patient. My natural ability to produce tears is reduced by a certain type of chronic dry eye. I tried all kinds of over-the-counter eye drops.